he's not, and if he isn't, we know what we got. We know we're moving forward, and it's time to play for real. Uh, so I'm very pleased. Uh, I think that you know what you've got with this open team is a, is a team that plays their tails off, can really guard. Uh, I think we can be a great rebounding team, but we have to remain focused on it and understand. I thought X got one of the best rebounds I've ever seen tonight. Um, we got to understand and learn how to rebound. When teams can't get to the rim against us and they're firing those long shots, obviously there's different paths to the ball and it'll just take a few games to figure it out. And, uh, and then consistency of checking out and doing the things. We have the ability and the players and the size and the length to, to, to be very special defensively and rebounding. And that's going to be our calling card, which is a lot different around here than it's been for years. Uh, you know, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun to win a different way. So I'm excited to get the season started next week and very pleased with our effort tonight. Daniel, in the second half, it, it seems like the, uh, the offense kind of came together a little bit in the early part of that second half. You guys got on a roll with a couple of possessions. Did you feel that too? Um, yeah, I felt like the guys started making shots. I felt like guys started making shots, um, you know, and the game was start, started flowing for us. So, yeah, in the second half there, you know, just happy to see my guys start finally make shots. You know, it was fun. X, what about when, when Coach says that in – You've said this before. You said that earlier today. Rebounding is going to be the calling card. You're cool with that, though, right? Yeah, I mean, this is a team that has a lot of length, a lot of athletic, a lot of athleticism. So when you look at the dynamic of our team, rebounding has to be at the top. You know, we have a lot of guys that can do that. We have a lot of guys that can uh, get it done on the defensive end. But it doesn't mean anything if we can't secure the rebound. X was a lot closer this time than the previous uh, preseason game. How do you feel to be more in control from start to finish in this one? Um, I mean, it felt good to, you know, run our stuff and get up and down and execute. And I think that's what this team has to continue to do. Um, just understand that execution is what wins games. Was what wins games. So limiting our turnovers, getting used to having the ball in our hands and everything, that's going to help us. Anything else for the student athletes? Okay, guys, thank you. Why do you have to see him? So, what, what happened? In my back. Just look at it. Your back? Yeah. And I fell. Wow. Did that hurt? A little bit. Kev, yeah, what about that? Uh, you know, kind of same question to you in the, in the second half. It seems like you guys hit a stride a little bit offensively. That that looked more Oakland-esque. Yeah, I, I, I don't don't get used to seeing that, though. I mean, that's a, that's a, a Division II team with Division II athletes other than maybe their guards. And they play fast pace, and they're a team that's going to win with offense. They came in, they had a 90 to 60 win. So, um, you know, the team we played in the first game is a team that tries to win with defense, and they're going to, they, you know, so there were alleys and opening, and they, they really couldn't guard X, and, and not many, well, not many people at any level right. can guard X. I mean, he's had big games against the best teams in the country. Um, and then we got a little more comfortable with, <clears throat> you know, getting the ball to him in the right spots. Our point guard play, I thought Kangu was way better tonight. Uh, and I think he only had one turnover. Um, I think he got the ball where it was supposed to go. Um, you know, I thought Zach Goodline did a pretty good job in the couple minutes he played in the, was it late in the first half? Jeez, I think I played 12 or 13 guys in the first half, which has to be a record. Um, and, you know, so I thought Kevin getting the ball. And then it's a, it's a really interesting phenomenon that, for me, I've never really seen before. And that's guys who, when you have this many freshmen and this many new guys, and they're collectively out there trying to get through the jitters together, the jitters get worse. You know, if, if it's one or two freshmen playing with a group of veterans, you know, usually the jitters are there, but because everybody else is playing smooth and everything, they kind of get hidden and they make a shot and then everything's cool. Uh, but with this group in the first game and tonight, I mean, we shot four shots in the first half that were air balls. And I think Gettlefinger might have broke the backboard with his three-point shot. You know, I, it just, 
this jitter, this trying to find myself, this when we're all together, it, it just kind of grows and even worse. So, you know, it's something that we're probably going to have to deal with for a while until they they get comfortable and roles get defined. I the one thing that I don't have right now going into a, our first couple of games are defined roles from players, and normally we do, and it's not unusual when ten of your fifteen guys are new. Now, depending on what happens with the waiver and with Rashad, that could change a lot because now you have a veteran, um, and that will pretty much help define some roles. So I'm going at it like he's not going to get the waiver and that we've got to figure in the next you know, week in the Goshen game and going into the Orlando trip, we've got to figure, all right, how am I going to sub? Who am I going to sub for? When am I going to sub? You know? I mean, we played 14 guys tonight, three or four minutes or more, which, you know, in that game, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, we weren't in jeopardy, but it wasn't like a good run, couldn't get them back in the game. So a lot of guys got an opportunity. I got to see a lot. I will, other than the shooting, which I think will be way better. Um, you know, I think Blake Lentman can really shoot it. I've got to decide whether to redshirt him or not. I think that Jackie Harris can really shoot it, but until they're comfortable and and understand their roles, they probably won't shoot it well. You talked about uh, Kevin Improvement. What did you see from him that looked a lot better than last time? Well, the, the, the point guard on their team is a Division One athlete. He was at Eastern Michigan. We actually offered him a scholarship. He went to Eastern Michigan. He didn't like it there. I don't know why. He he played some there, and for some reason he, he transferred to Saginaw, where he could play both football and basketball. And he he's going to he put ball pressure on us as as good as we're going to see in our league. You know, Green Bay is going to get after us. Northern Kentucky. So there are three or four teams in our league that are going to get after us like that. And Kevin really handled it well. He he didn't turn it over. Our freshman did. Um, he got it to where it's supposed to go, and he got us in our offense. And, and those are little things that don't show up in the scorecard, but it was the difference. And there were two things that were different tonight and then from the first game that helped us, you know, get to a 30-point lead. And that was free throw shooting and getting the ball where it's supposed to be. And, and that's why the game was what it was. And I don't think we're going to shoot 80% from the line. But I do think we're going to be a team that shoots a lot of free throws because we're hard to guard in the post, and we've got to make we got to make seventy percent of them. You know, we can't be sixty-five or sixty-seven. We've got to be seventy or higher. And tonight we were seventy-nine at home. Maybe we should be that. It was good to see Brad make free throws. You like like he's capable. He shot seventy-five percent last year, so we expect him to make free throws. And I think he's mad at himself, and he he did a really good job tonight. And that set the tone. That really set the tone. So really pleased with, with what Kevin did for us. You mentioned uh, Saginaw came out pretty fast or playing fast. Um, was there like a, an adjustment from the first half to the second half that looked kind of a lot more like controlled and slowed down in the second half? Well, we held them 23 points in the first half and six of those points were run outs off of our turnovers. Jackie had a shot, didn't take it through it and they stole it for a layup. Somebody else got ripped it for a layup. So against our defense, they probably would have only been in the teens. So what they did in the second half is they started their first nine shots were threes and they made four of them. And I think that we were comfortable and, and we did not get our hand over the ball and do some things defensively that we need to do against a team like that. And uh, so it would be good film for us and a good learning experience for us and we can see what, what we're talking about in film in the next couple of days and it'll make us better. I think offensively the flow was faster but we're not, we don't want to be a fast flow team. We want to be a team that lives in the slows of the 60s and 50s and defend and rebound and play power basketball, get it into the rim and get to the free throw line. That's how we're going to be successful. We do not shoot it well enough from the perimeter to, and we're not experienced enough on the perimeter to go beat the good teams in our league playing fast. What's your favorite Halloween candy, Coach? One of my favorite candy is uh, Heath Bar. So, you know, if you've got some in your pocket, I'll take one right now. Anything else? All right, thank you.